everybody and welcome back for episode six of the Athletic Academics podcast. Um, big thanks last week to, to James Raptis who joined us from, from London and spoke about his experiences so far in, in America. Um, really appreciated having James on board with us for, for the chat. Um, this week it's it's just myself here in the UK and Robin over in Sweden. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, glad glad to be back, and 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 uh, once again from from me as well. Thank you, thank you, James, for for joining us last week. It, it was great, and I know uh, a bunch of Swedes uh, really enjoyed uh, listening in to him as well. Yeah. So so this week's topic is going to be on um, college colors, uh, team colors, and that kind of thing. How they compare. Um, Many of you will have seen that we put out on social media this week a uh, big vote for our followers to get involved with on the, the Swedish Instagram account and on the, the UK one as well, where Robin and I kind of picked 10 colleges um, and we asked followers to vote on them, to whittle them down to, to five, uh, five for Robin and five for me that would make our kind of final 10 on this podcast. Um, so without further ado, we'll we'll go on and um, and start introducing who we're left with and explain why they made made that top ten. All right. So uh, in Sweden, we uh, or I picked uh, ten schools. Uh, I think I know that both me and David are are very into uh, graphics, very into Instagram. We are Instagram nerds, both both of us, and. Uh, we, we enjoy schools that are good at branding and that has nice colors to it. Uh, so when we discussed for uh, today's episode, it was uh, it's a uh, to- uh, topic or subject that, that we're both uh, very, very uh, excited on. Um, when you picked your 10 that uh, the, the people in the UK or, or all over the world, David, were, was going to vote on, what references did you have? Did you go on what you thought was the, the nicest ones or, or what did you go for? Yeah, I definitely went on um, some options that are personal favorites of mine um, for a number of different reasons, really. Some just favorite colors, as simple as that, and others that are really iconic. In um, Well, certainly from our time in America, you and I would know of them, and they stand out uh, as being kind of quite recognizable. Um, but then the others, yeah, just, just for a little bit of sort of something they offer something unique that no other no other school has, a color, a color combination perhaps that's a little bit kind of distinguishable just to them um so there was a few reasons why and then obviously some some bigger schools as well that that are able to have multiple different colors and combinations that make it quite a little bit more diverse and exciting um yeah yeah. how did how did you go about kind of i just went basically on on personal opinion uh only basically i uh I have a few favorites in terms of colors and in terms of of how they brand themselves um and you know when I, when I uh, put my top ten uh, on the list, I I uh, I put them two v two with with a lot of strategy, so so the kids or or, or the the players would uh, uh, would pick the the ones that I like. So I, I tried to pick the ones that I thought was the the least nice against the one I love the most. So so they would vote right, but uh, in Sweden. Uh, Four or five uh, uh, votes went against what, what I thought. So I'm uh, I'm sitting here presenting a, a list of for Sweden, but but not for Robin. My my absolute favorite uh, Texas Longhorns with the distinguished orange. Uh, their social media department is just uh, something else. Uh, they have a t- some type of typical filter on all, all photos. Um, they they lost uh, against the University of Arizona. It's uh, it would have been a, a, a big um, a big upset in, in the U.S. Um, so yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh, but should we um, get going with our uh, top five? Uh, we are gonna present uh, of those five schools that both me and David uh, uh, in each uh, respective Instagram accounts got voted uh, as the best ones. Me and David are gonna rate them ourselves in wh- who we are, think is the nicest uh, of those five that you guys voted. Um, you ready to present yours, David? 
Yeah, so coming in at number five uh, is Florida State University, uh, the Seminoles, who uh, their, their colors are garnet and gold. Um, garnet, for those that aren't perhaps as familiar with that, is kind of a very dark red, maroon kind of color. Um, so yeah, very much uh, sets itself apart in, down in Florida. There's, there's a huge rivalry between FSU um, and also the, the Florida Gators, the University of Florida, that is. And they wear kind of royal blue and orange. Um, so most families are, are kind of either for FSU or for Florida Gators, one or the other. Um, so it's, it's a very, very popular and common color, uh, garnet and gold down in, down in Florida. Um, and an enormously well-known school too. Um, yes. And also with their, with the colors, their, their kind of iconic symbolism, their, their descends from Nat Native Americans, the Seminoles as their sort of nickname or mascot as such. Um, they have the kind of tagline of fear the spear. So yeah, very, very well-known kind of color code. FSU is known throughout the country. And uh, yeah, the garnet and gold is, is without doubt always attributed to, to Florida State. So um, I'm glad they made the top five for me. What came in at number five for you, Robin? All right. So at number five was probably my second biggest upset in my poll. And that was uh, uh, University of Iowa. Uh, University of Iowa is a school that that I really like, but I, I put them against Cal Berkeley, who has the uh, uh, royal blue um, color with the Under Armour logo. Uh, it's a huge favor of mine. So I thought I was going to get beat by 100% votes on, on Berkeley, but no, I was totally wrong. So coming in at number five, it's Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, they compete in the, in the Big Ten. Uh, and their sponsors are, are Nike. And actually, of, of my... Uh, on my uh, list of, of uh, top five schools, uh, four or five are Nike, actually. So uh, Nike is, is a big favorite in Sweden, it seems. Uh, and Iowa has a, a color scheme of black and, and yellow. Uh, the, the majority uh, of the uh, the color scheme is black. Uh, so it's uh, they always have dark kits. Uh, sometimes on their away kits, they are yellow and black instead of black and yellow. Uh, so they're the Hawkeyes uh, compete in the Big Ten, and and they come in at uh, my my number five. Uh, who's your number four? Okay, number four for me is going out to the West Coast. Always quite a popular choice. Uh, UCLA, um, University of California at Los Angeles. Um, there, yeah, this was a always been a quite a favorite of mine as well. Uh, real sort of true blue, royal blue uh, with a gold trim, a little bit of white in there as well. So it's again, quite classic uh, in, in how they look. Um, they're, you know, obviously they're, they're a very high profile athletics program there as well with you know, being some of the best teams in, in soccer, in, in tennis, in swimming, track and, and American football and basketball too. A lot of history there. Um, they, they usually wear white or, or blue with the gold trim and it, and it just kind of, I think looks extremely cool. Um, they, a couple of years ago, joined up with Under Armour, having been, uh, Adidas or Adidas, depending on how you want to pronounce that for some years. Um, so they are receiving an amazing $280 million from Under Armour over a 15 year period to, to sponsor their, their sports equipment and, um, apparel. So. Yeah, and I, I I love Under Armour. I think Under Armour is great. It's it's very underrated. It's not very big in Sweden here yet. Uh, and and funny story here in Sweden for when I was you know maybe uh, just started to become a teenager at uh, age like 13, 14. Um, you know you you were always um, uh, very keen on what you were wearing, what brand you were wearing, and then uh, just suddenly everyone started wearing UCLA hoodies. But not many in Sweden knew uh, what UCLA was. We call it Ukla. Uh, so you can just hear the, the pronunciation because we had no clue what it was. So for me, UCLA has been a part of, of, of uh, you know, my youth uh, before I even knew who it was. Uh, so they are, they are very good at branding. It's, it's, a, it's a world famous. Uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Um, and and on, just on that with Under Armour too, certainly um, a brand that we're all aware of now across the world. And over the last sort of 15, 20 years, they've, they've emerged to become enormous competitors with Adidas, with Nike, with everybody else too. And um, there was actually a couple of guys that started at the University of Maryland that came up with Under Armour, I think during their time at college and then started that, that business and franchise there. Um, and University of Maryland, I think, was one of the first schools that Under Armour 
did a deal with and that's now expanded yeah. to I don't even know. It must be. It's, it's over, probably over a hundred schools or more across the states, and um, they're yeah. they're a big player now in the, the sports um, the s- sports sponsorship market. So, yeah, that was my number four. UCLA made the list. Um, what about you, Robin? Yeah. So, so what you'll notice on my list is my is that my uh, I have a bit um, a bit more of a, a alternative or or niche options so not not super famous school so my number four is actually a a color scheme that that i really like it's the minnesota gophers uh to be brutally honest while we're speaking here i do not know what a gopher is i should probably have checked that before but uh do you know what a gopher is yeah i think it's like a beaver isn't it no there are Beef, that, that rivers is, uh, and woodlands yeah. Now when you say I I I remember that it, it is a beaver. Uh, they also compete in the Big Ten uh, amongst the uh, Iowa Hawkeyes, and and they also have Nike as their sponsors. Uh, they have a color scheme which is basically uh, dark red and golden. Uh, so it's a bit a bit different. Uh, I can't come up with anyone. Uh, on top of my head now who has the same color scheme if you look at iowa with black and yellow it's it's a lot of schools that that has that type of color scheme so they're not super uh, niche but golden and, and dark red uh, is definitely something that not everyone has uh, so minnesota gophers a, a big school a big program uh, they're very good in a lot a lot of sports um so that came in as my number four they beat uh, in my poll they beat coastal carolina, carolina university which is uh, actually one of my biggest favorites because uh, they have teal green uh, and we we will actually have a, an athletic academics athlete alicia uh, attending there uh, uh, next year uh, so minnesota beat uh, coastal for me so so they ended up at number four who's your number three at number three, uh, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Um, they actually beat out Syracuse, uh, which is a team that plays in kind of all orange or orange orange and a bit of white. So I was hoping to inject a little bit of um, vibrant color into the list, but we, we the voters have spoken and they went with UNC, which is uh, light sky blue and white. Uh, again, very, very recognizable, especially in, in North Carolina and, and uh predominantly in, in basketball and women's soccer they're they're giants of the college game um yeah unc is is an extremely well branded uh university or sports department and a lot of that helped out through the fact that obviously michael jordan uh played there as a, as a college basketball player in the sort of early mid 80s um yeah. and they now operate under the jordan brand so they have been with nike for quite some years um, but specifically with the Jordan brand, uh, with that being his kind of former school, um, I think they, the deal is in and around $62 million over 10 years for them to be, to be wearing Nike Jordan, um, clothing. So yeah, another major school, huge on sports, um, big rivalry there as well in North Carolina with, uh, Duke university who are a sort of darker blue. So again, if you if you do travel through anywhere in North Carolina, those are the two main schools. You'll either see people wearing kind of white and sky blue, or or the darker blue for Duke. So, yeah, iconic, um, very very cool, forward thinking kind of branding material there. And yeah, I'm not surprised that they they made the list and come in at number three. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 a great choice. It's very very iconic with the, with the light blue and and. Uh... Uh, if, if you guys do some some googling around after this uh, uh, podcast you could uh, google their new soccer stadium because they just uh, launched a new one it's a I think it's a super nice uh, stadium and and they're very very forward thinking it's it's a it's a huge school for sure uh, my days in the in North Carolina my first year uh, my head coach was a huge Duke Duke fan so uh, I think I got a bit uh, uh, affected by him so uh, whenever they played against each other I always rooted for Duke actually um, but yeah Duke is uh, not on any of our list uh, for today um, for my number three uh, once again a bit different in type of school uh, my top two is, is a bit more famous but at number two uh, uh, University of Arizona comes in um, and University of Arizona 
uh, beat my my number one favorite, Texas Longhorns, and and they beat it with uh, 80% of the votes. I, I was really surprised, and, and uh, it's taken some time for me to to get over that loss of, of not presenting Texas Longhorns, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, Arizona, they compete in, in the Pac-12, uh, which is the, the West Coast Conference, basically, one of the best in, in, in many, many sports. Uh, Pac-12 is, is, is a... Uh, humongous and, and huge um, uh, conference. Uh, Arizona has a bit of a different color scheme. They don't have a, a specific uh, color like UNC, for example, that has the light blue. That's very distinct. Uh, Arizona actually has dark blue, uh, 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 r- normal red or whatever you say, and and, uh, and white. So they have the, the colors of the American flag. They, they usually compete uh, under the dark dark blue uh, colors but they could also compete in the red ones and also white ones so they also they uh, almost always have three different options uh, it's a it's a well-branded school uh, they have nike, nike as well uh, it's it's a, i like the logo it's a it's a solely uh, an a uh, with the three different colors in it i think it's very neat very nice very different for for a college to have that type of athletic logo uh, so I, I like arizona it's it's a it's a personal favorite but I wouldn't want to see them uh, beat uh, Texas Longhorns, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm not bitter at all. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what's your uh, number two, David? So my number two, uh, University of Michigan. Um, obviously another mega school competing in the in the Big Ten. Um, yeah, Nike, Nike branded actually with the Jordan brand now as the sort of Jordan brand uh, has kind of grow in the last few years to sort of several schools now, but they're quite an exclusive list of schools that are wearing the kind of Jordan logo. Um, Michigan is one of them and without doubt on the kind of highest deal in order to, to facilitate that. So they're, they're actually taking in an amazing $169 million um, for, to, to be wearing that Jordan uh, logo. So their colors are maize and blue. Um, maize is kind of like a corn yellow um and their their blue is kind of a darker blue as well so again iconic very very simple um but recognizable across the country and in particular in michigan where their their big rivals michigan state is kind of a a dark green and white so you're either one or the other you're either for michigan or for michigan state up there so uh it stands out um they have you know another school with supremely good uh, social media um and and how they kind of market their 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 athletes and what's going on at the school with incredible facilities um they often compete in the dark blue with with the with the yellow trim but they obviously have the reverse of, of yellow with, with blue on it and a third strip is usually in white um but yeah, just something that, that really is a favorite of mine. I'm glad it made the list and, and others also agreed. Um, but yeah, hard, hard to argue with, with uh, how recognizable they are across the states, University of yeah. Michigan. It's a, it's a huge school. Uh, their football stadium, I think it, it has a capacity of over 100,000. It's, it's, uh, it's huge. It's a, uh, uh, definitely a life goal for me to attend a University of Michigan football game uh, sometime when it, when it's uh, fully packed. Uh, I think it, it's an experience uh, that goes uh, beyond uh, something else. Uh, they're, they're also quite big in, or very big in, in basketball. Um, so yeah, a great pick. There's also, a, for those that have Amazon Prime and, and watch like some sports documentaries on there, you, you may have heard of uh, All or Nothing, the series that follows some NFL teams and some soccer teams, etc. But there's one on the University of Michigan football that is well worth watching if you have an interest in this and you're going to get to see the the magnitude of that university and college sports in general, but when that hundred and ten thousand seater stadium is full up of people screaming and cheering in yellow and, and dark blue, it's it's something to to really behold. You know, it's it's an incredible um, you know thing to see. So, yeah, check check that one out. All or nothing, University of Michigan. Um, yeah. Who was yeah. number two for I- you, Robin? Uh, my number two is uh, a quite well known school. It's the University of Miami. Uh, also called the U. Uh, they are uh, uh, called the Hurricanes as well, uh, which also can be uh, shortened to the Canes. So it has a lot of nicknames. In, in Sweden, we say uh, a beloved child has a lot of nicknames. So this kind of uh, goes, uh, goes in, the, in the same pattern. Uh, so you can say University of Miami, you can say the U, you can say the Hurricanes or just the Canes. 
Uh, and University of Miami has a very different color scheme than than uh, than any of the schools. I do not think that it is any school that has their color uh, color theme, uh, and and that is. Uh, they are green and orange uh, of all of all things. Uh, their aesthetics logo is just uh, a U uh, divided into two colors, uh, green and orange. Uh, it's a um, it's a huge school. Uh, this is the only school on my list who is not Nike. They are sponsored by Adidas, um, and uh, yeah, the, the school is obviously located in Miami. Uh, it it. It competes in the ACC, uh, which is the same conference as uh, UNC uh, that uh, David spoke about. Uh, so yeah, University of Miami is my uh, my number two. Uh, you know, fun fact is that um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which is a very very well known and famous actor nowadays, I think he has the most followers on Instagram or something. He's 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 very big. Uh, both on Instagram and, and in real life, yeah. he's, a, he's a huge, huge guy, <laughs> and he uh, he was actually a a football player at University of Miami, uh, so it has a, a lot of um, um, a lot of f- famous people uh, went into it and, and been around it. Uh, I know David Beckham has uh, has visited a few of the women's soccer practices. Actually, I've seen it on uh, on social media. So it's a school that uh, you know it's 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 well known. Uh, it's very very iconic, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm glad it was picked uh, uh, on on my poll because I, I like University of Miami. It's it's a uh, it, it's a very very uh, cool school, and and uh, I like the color theme uh, a lot actually. Uh, what do you think about the green and orange, David? You were a bit uh, hesitant on on the color theme. Yeah, it definitely is unique, and it like you said, I, I can't really think of anyone else. Um, that has a similar or, or the same kind of color code. It's uh, that darker green and orange. It, it definitely stands out. It's, it's for me. I'm a little bit more classic in, in how I, I like my colors of, of jerseys and that kind of thing. So it wouldn't be my first choice. But I definitely appreciate that it it um, you, you know who you're you're referring to when you, when you see that big U logo, half of it in orange, half in dark green. It's it's uh, it's, it's definitely the University of Miami. So I I, I respect that. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see if you beat my number two with your number one. Okay, so my my number one is uh, well, the, the top of my list would be the University of Oregon. Um, hard to really ever leave this school out of a list when you're talking about jerseys. They're not everybody's taste, but they are definitely something to to behold in terms of of uh, their ingenuity and creativeness, um, or creativity, I should say. Um, Another Nike school playing in the uh, the Pac-12 along with University of Arizona and UCLA, um, previously on the list. They it's hard to really say what their their main colors are. Their their um their, their nickname or mascot is the Ducks, the Oregon Ducks. So that alone is is quite unique. Um, but they have a, a number of colors that they chop and change and have several different jerseys that they wear, which is is also you know, speaks to the sort of size and, and how much they care about uh, their branding. And it's kind of a, a very fluorescent green, almost like a limey yellow. Um, yeah. And then also they, they use a lot of black and some white as well. So they have all kinds of combinations that they, they change it around. Their American football program, which is obviously uh, a very well-known, very sort of big-time program out there, they pretty much wear a different color combination or different jerseys every game. Um yeah. Part of the reason for that as well is, again, as I said, another Nike school, um, but even more connected to Nike because uh, Phil Knight, who's one of the founders of Nike, attended University of Oregon. So that was his old school. So um, many people know that Nike's headquarters is in Eugene, Oregon, which is where University of Oregon is. Um, so they have a, a real close knit bond and relationship with Nike there. And uh, their current deal is something like eighty-eight million dollars over eleven years. So you're talking um, big money um, and a lot of history with, with that brand. And yeah, they for me blow most of the competition out of the water in in what they kind of uh, offer in terms of colors and new ideas. Yeah, I I, I love University of Oregon as well. And you know, going even more in depth in, into the whole Nike connection, I think that. 
Phil Knight was an attendee of the University of Oregon, but then when he uh, when he created, he, he firstly started Nike, uh, its first name was Blue Ribbon, and uh, when they started to, to grow, he brought in a, a guy called Jim Bowerman. He was the track coach at University of Oregon while working for, for Nike and developing that before, when they were small, and then when Nike obviously uh, went bigger, uh, uh, Jim, he, he, he quit his job as a track coach at, at University of Oregon, but they're, they're super uh, closely knitted. Uh, I think University of Oregon was the first school to, to ever wear uh, Nike as well with, with the shoes and, and all, uh, just the same as uh, Maryland and Under Armour. Uh, and, and with me being a huge fan of Nike, uh, I've always had a soft spot for, for Oregon and, and the Ducks. Uh, and, and, you know, for, for those doing extra research after this episode, you know, look up their sports department, look up their sports medicine department, Everything at University of Oregon is uh, almost beyond belief. It's it's uh, you can't really understand how, how nice it is before you see it. So so make sure to to Google that up. Yep. Who was top of your list, Robin? Yeah. So uh, top of my list, I was uh, since I lost my my absolute favorite uh, Texas Longhorns. I uh, I was pleased to see my number two got voted in. So uh, when that was voted in, it was. Uh, Super obvious for me to on who to pick, and and that is Purdue University. And uh, for those of you who who've uh, um, been a part of athletic academics for a long time, you, you can see that I I often borrow their pictures. I I like their the type of style. I like their type of branding. It's just a simple P. Uh, the the uh, their logo. They're called the Boiler Makers. Uh, it's it's very very retro. If if you ask me, they're they're not flashy whatsoever they are black and they are gold uh, with the p in gold uh, and, and uh, just a black uh, um, what do you say a, a black foundation oh, in terms of uh, yeah uh, in terms of jerseys and all they, they are very very uh, often uh, uh, you know dark dark kits uh, if you look at their social media they have a special type of branding on their pictures and that goes through all their website all their promotioning it has a, a, a red line in terms of um, you know a theme of I can see a picture and you can blur the people in it but just based on the filter I know that okay this is Purdue filter so it, it you know when we speak color when we speak branding uh, things that I'm I'm really weak for. I, I love that type of stuff. I think Purdue is 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 you know b- beyond many, uh, and and I think Texas is, is there as well. Uh, but uh, Purdue is my definite number one. I I love kids who are you know black, who are subtle, uh, who are uh, you know a bit mysterious. I love those type of kits. Uh, that that is definitely my my taste. Uh, and and uh, Purdue is. Um, no, uh, once again, a Nike-sponsored school. They compete in the Big Ten. So of my school, of, of, of five schools, um, we have three in the Big Ten. Um, so that is uh, the Swedes' taste, uh, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, what do you think about Purdue? Yeah, I'm very much just the same and in agreement, really. Nice, uh, really simple, um, the black and gold. With, with Also, they wear some white as well, don't they, at times? Um, yeah. So there's nothing outlandish uh, about their color scheme, but they just do simple very, very well. And I think that kind of echoes what we like with our brand in Athletic Academics and what we tried to kind of create together with our logo. And as we've mentioned probably on previous podcasts is our kind of black and white scheme um, it's it's not based on Purdue whatsoever. It's it's just also uh, quite similarly quite uh, simple and um, it does what it says on the tin, but it does hopefully looks good and and is done well. And that that's what Purdue offers all the time, I think. So yeah, so I'm a little surprised they made the number one because there's probably some more uh, recognizable brands, but I can certainly see why they they would have made the top of the list for you. So. Yeah, um, my yeah, so, um, my I'm, biggest moment last year was when uh, uh, the Swedish player uh, from Athletic Academics, Ebba Kostov, she played Purdue uh, at Purdue. So I was just waiting all weekend for uh, that they were going to post photos. And I just crossed my fingers that please, 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 let's have Ebba on one of the pictures because I want a Purdue picture with a Purdue filter with an Athletic Academics athlete in it. And I got it. She was on like three pictures and I've saved them. I still have them on my computer because... That's how much I love the filter. Uh, so yeah, very pleased that that 
uh, Ebba played them and, uh, and hopefully we will have uh, more players playing against them and hopefully uh, someone joining them. Uh, we know we will have one very, very happy uh, employee if, if that happens for sure. <laughs> Okay, so that kind of completes our list. Just to run through them again, uh, from mine five down to one, it was Florida State, UCLA, UNC, uh, which is North Carolina, and uh, Michigan, and then on top was University of Oregon. Uh, Robin, your five down to one? I had five Iowa, four Minnesota, three Arizona, two Miami, and one Purdue. Great, okay. So if anyone uh, listening wants to kind of message in either through uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be, um, send us in your kind of comments and thoughts. If you disagree, let us know. Um, maybe some suggestions on any other schools that you've seen that you think should have been on the list. Um, yeah, we'd, we'd love to hear your, your feedback on that. Um, and that kind of wraps it up for, for this week. We, we hope you we found it a little bit more fun and enjoyable, um, a little bit of a different topic. So we're trying to mix it up from week to week. Um, and we will be returning this time next week with uh, another subject. Yeah, sounds great. Thanks, guys. Stay safe and, and uh, uh, talk to you next week. Mm-hmm.